coming into Omaha, Oral Roberts center fielder Jonah Cox sported a 47 game hitting streak, chasing the widely considered untouchable 58 game hitting streak set by Robin Ventura back in 1987. On Friday, though, that hitting game, that hitting streak came to a halt. However, or Roberts came out with the win, but if you ask Jonah Cox, it was the last thing on his mind, and he'd probably trade that hitting streak for a win in the College World Series any day. I got a chance to catch up with the outfielder and talk about his season and Oral Roberts' magical run to Omaha in 2023. Obviously, I mean, it goes without saying, you know, you, you carry a, an, an amazing uh, hitting streak going into Omaha, and I'm sure you'll be the first to say that it's the last thing on your mind when you go to the plate. I'm sure you're, you know, not trying to do too much or anything like that, but just having that, you know, on your tender coming into the tournament, I mean, does it mean anything to you? Do you ever just sit back and think, like, you know, about how impressive that is? You know, I haven't yet. Um, the thing I like to say is, like, the team's won 51 games, and, I mean, that's, that's impressive in itself. I mean, I think we're one of two or three teams or whatever to do that this year, and I think that's more impressive than some street can. Getting the uh, All-American nod, I mean, what does that mean to you? You know, yourself, uh, Matt, and, and Cade, you guys have definitely been the three standouts on the team, and, you know, it's been a, a, a full collaborative team effort, but, you know, you three uh, in particular stand out. Can you speak to what that means about, you know, having the teammates that you do, especially those two, uh, and what you guys have been able to give this team, you know, a little extra juice this year? I think it's special. I mean, you've got a guy on the back end like Cade who just comes in and, I mean, really shortens the game down. I mean, that's really, really helpful. And then you got a right fielder like Matt who's hitting him in the mid-300s with 18. Like, that's, that's special. The thing people don't really know is, I mean, we've got a first baseman who's perfect on the year so far. I'm going to jinx that now. But, uh, I mean, you've got a first baseman like him in the infield. I mean, anything in his general direction is an out. And then you got a shortstop like Mac and a third baseman like Breeze who don't get a ton of like that media attention. But I mean, you watch them closely, and I mean, there's nothing hit through the left side. Like those guys are, everybody's just fun to watch. Can you speak a little bit to just that Oregon crowd? You know, obviously you guys went down 0-1, but you rallied back. You never wavered. You stayed confident. You stayed the course. Can you speak to a little bit about you know how your team's been able to just overcome, you know, time in and time out, and you know to be able to get to this point. You know, we talk about playing 27 outs, and you know, game one at Oregon, we didn't do a good job of playing 27 outs. I know I, we shortened the game and didn't play all 27, and we ended up losing. And I mean, you come back the next day, and that was kind of the focus of like, hey, we need to play this game until it's over. And you know, Justin Quinn ends up <laughs> blocking it off. And I mean, you look at that inning, and it was special. I mean, you got a two or a walk, a single, a walk, and then Justin Quinn steps up and does his job. And uh, lastly, something that I've been particularly noticing that yourself, Matt, and Blaze, you guys like to wear the pants over the knee. Um, when I was playing baseball, it wasn't really a thing. Now, who cares how I play baseball? Obviously, you're the, the subject here. But can you kind of describe for me uh, where the inspiration came from? For I call them the football pants. They look really cool. But uh, can you explain you know, when it started and why you started wearing your pants that way? Because I've, I've been very intrigued by it. So I grew up an OU fan actually, and so I watched like Kyler Murray play baseball in high school and stuff like that. And so I saw him do it, and I was like, "Wow, he looks really, really fast doing it." And so I started wearing my pants up after that, and then it's just kind of stuck. And I don't know, Mac or uh, Maddie and Blaze both just look enormous when they wear their pants above their legs. So I, I don't know why they do it. That's kind of why I do. Paul Roberts continues their run Sunday at 6 p.m. on ESPN2 against the Florida Gators. Now in Omaha, I'm Darren Wallace from Midco 